please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts in this video lecture i will explain you how to load the beam rebarring diagram column rebarring diagram and slab rebarring diagram and concrete diagram for the respected building structure by using csi detailing option okay so initially i will show you the rebarring diagram for example so that you can easily understand that so here i am selecting my csi detailing software so this is my rebarring diagram for the respected ground story building it will be consisting of the ground level it here and it will be consisting of the plinth section and this is the ground floor okay so initially i am deselecting these respected objects so now you can see all the diagrams will be escaping here okay so firstly i will show you the concrete surfacing diagram so click on this respected option so that it will load the dimensions for the respected uh, section which is consisting of the beams columns and slab again click on the beam rebarring diagram so that it will load the beams rebar for the respected structure again you can select the column reinforcement diagrams here like this again in the same process you can select the slab rebar section so that it will load the rebar diagram for the slab okay so in this video i will explain you how to create this respected diagram by using csi detailing so initially i will show you the model in etap software so for that just i am uh, closing this uh, detailing software so no option just i am selecting so firstly i am selecting etap software so initially i will show you the specifications for the building structure which is related to the ground floor building so that you can easily uh able to understand the concept so here i am selecting a file option open here so here i am selecting my desktop g option select a g edb file so that it will open your respected g uh, ground floor building structure so now we can see this is my 2d model and this is my 3d model it will be consisting of the ground level here and the plinth level here and first floor level here okay so it will be consisting of 6 meter length and 6 meter width firstly i will show you the specifications go to define material properties So for this building, just I was taken M25 grade concrete as well as your respected FE uh, 415 grade steel. Again, I was selected the properties of the frame section C, uh, which is related to the uh, 0.3 cross 0.23 for the column and 0.23 cross 0.23 for the beam. Okay. So now I will show you the specifications for the slab. Go to define option. Uh, select here slab section. So now we can see this is the slab which is consisting of approximately 125 mm. Okay. Now I will show you the load cases which is act on this respected building. So go to define option here, select uh, load pattern. So it will be consisting of dead loading and live loading condition. So after applying all the load cases, just we have to run the analysis. Just I am selecting here as run analysis option. Okay, so that it will load the diagram which is related to the uh, dif displacement diagram, shear diagram as well as your displacement diagram for the structure here. Okay, so now you can see here my model is doing the analysis process. So after the analysis process completed, the deflection diagram will be showing here like this. So after the deflection diagram is showing, so firstly we have to unlock this model. Model, you can okay. So go to edit option here. So in this we need to select the edit option firstly. So it will be consisting of the add edit design strips. So firstly I am selecting the strips. In order to design the slab sections, firstly we have to design the strips here. Okay. So here I am selecting X and A. Again I am selecting for the floor one. Click on the auto option. Click on apply option. So after applying the strips for the respected x direction condition, just we have to apply the uh, strips for the y direction. So here I am selecting y direction with the strip layer is B. Click on Apply option. So click on OK option so that it will apply the strips in y direction condition also. So after applying the strips, again we have to do the analysis process. So here I am selecting Run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process for the structure again after assigning the strips for the slab section. Okay. So now we have to design the uh, beam sections as well as column sections and the slab section for the building structure. So for that, firstly we have to do the uh, detailing process uh, for the building structure in ETAP 18% software. So after that we have to see the output file in detailing software. Okay. So go to design option here. It will be consisting of your respected beam designing section option. So in this we need to select the start design checks. Okay. So before that we have to check the IS codal provision. So for that. We have we have to click on the view preferences option, so it will be consisting of IS four five six code. Click on OK option. So now we have to select this uh, uh, concrete frame design. Select the start design check option, so that it will do the designing check for the respected uh, beam sections and column sections as well as uh, your respected plinth beam sections. Okay. So after doing the designing section for the beams, now we have to do the designing section for the slab. So for that, go to concrete slab design section. So in this, we need to select the start design check option. Again, it will ask you to select the floors option. So here I am selecting the floor one. So click on the OK option. So it will do the designing process for the floor one section. Okay. 
so after doing the analysis process and designing process for the frame sections and slab section just we have to save the model okay so before that we need to check whether it is having the values for the 3d model here like this or not okay so now i am saving this model go to file option click on the save option okay so now my model was saved here so now we have to open the csi detailing version software so here i am selecting csi detailing so after that we have to import the model from etap software to this csi detailing go to file options so in this we need to select the new detailing so initially we need to select the model just i am selecting my folder is g so here i am selecting this model is g dot edb file format so that it will load the model in etap 18 version software so that it will directly import the model from s18 software to csi detailing here okay. so after model is imported from etap software to etap's detailing version software so firstly we have to uh, define the specifications and preferences as per your standard so for that firstly i am selecting the detailing units here so it, you can select any one of the units as per your consideration just i am changing the force to kilo newton here as per my consideration so click on the okay option so after that we have to select the preferences select the preferences option it will be consisting of user default building and user saved and standard so here i am selecting standard as per ias 456 code click on okay option so after that again we have to select the concrete detailing preferences here so you can select the beam here and you can change the name to b here again you select the column here again you can change the name to c here again you select the uh, wall here you can select here as w here okay again you can directly click on okay option so after that you can select the concrete display preferences here okay so it will be consisting of b preferences column preferences and wall preferences as per your consideration you can select so now we have to select the rebar section rules so here i am selecting this option select the uh, slab section and i am selecting the largest bar size will be consisting of 16 mm diameter and i am selecting the spacing will be consisting of 120 mm for the minimum section and maximum will be of 300 mm click on okay again in the same process just i am selecting the uh, rebar section which is related to the beam so here i am selecting the spacing which is of 150 here for the first section zone a and 150 for the zone b again in the same process just i am taking 150 for the zone c okay again i am taking 300 for the zone a and 300 for the zone b 300 for the zone c so now i am selecting the column here in the same process we have to select the minimum uh, spacing as well as the ma maximum spacing here which is related to the 150 and 300 as per consideration click on okay so after that we have to click on the okay option directly so that it will do the detailing for process for the respected building structure which is of ground floor building so after detailing process completed you can check the reinforcement values and strip values and reinforcement kgs from your respected results okay you can see the uh, column reinforcement elevation section and you can see the floor values you can see the rebar kg view for the respected structure here like this okay so after loading the all the output file so just we have to firstly we have to check the uh, slab reinforcing details just i'm selecting here just i'm selecting here now you can see this is a all beam slab reinforcement details so in my previous video i was explain how to see the slab reinforcement details with cage views okay so if you want to see the rebar cage view for the floor one you can select here so that it will load the rebar cage view for the structure so after that we have to see the uh, rebar diagrams okay so for that we have to select this option here okay show in csi detailing viewer option so you can directly select option here so that it will do the some uh, analysis process for the structure so after that we have to uh, wait for some time for loading the diagram so it will take some around 1 uh, to 2 minutes depends upon your system specifications depends upon your model so here now we can see this is the diagram which is loaded as per the concrete surfaces concrete surfaces in the sense it was loaded with the beams and column sections as well as the slab section okay so in order to visible that respected uh, reinforcement values just we have to select the beam rebar section and column rebar section and the slab rebar section okay so here i am selecting the beam rebar section firstly so that it will load the diagram which is related to the beam reinforcement section here like this now you can see this is the reinforcement section for each and every beam again in the same process you can select the column reinforcement details so that it will load the column reinforcement details for the respective structure under consideration okay so now you can see it was loaded with the column reinforcement again you can select the slab rebar reinforcement section now you can see this is the slab rebar re uh, section reinforcement diagram for the structure of ground floor building okay so this is additional option we have to uh, show the diagram which is related to the uh, output file for the structural consideration okay so this is the complete process how to load the concrete surface diagrams <coughs> so this is
This is a complete process of loading the concrete reinforcement diagram with a concrete diagram. Okay, so it will load the reinforcement diagram for the beam sections, column sections, and slab section as well as your surface section. Okay, so this is the additional option which can be useful for the loading the diagram section here. Okay, which is related to the CSI detailing viewer option. So this is a CSI detailing viewer option. You can click on this after uh, CSI detailing for the structure. Okay. So this is a complete process. If you have any queries about this respected video, please text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.